Hi, my name is Roger and welcome. This video is going to be a little bit different from what I usually do because I've joined up with Team C's for a very, for a very important task and that is to clean up the seas, beaches and rivers from garbage. <laughs> This is where I live, this is Östersund in the middle of Sweden. And the water you see is the Great Lake. Well, well it's not that great, but it's called that. In Swedish, it's Storsjön. Storsjön, the Swedish word of today. And this is the Great Lake monster. Well, it's not the real monster, but in the 19th century, they thought that it was a monster living in this lake, just like Loch Ness in Scotland, if you heard about it. And like 40 years ago, an artist made this uh, cute symbol for our city. We don't have so much problem with pollution in Sweden, in the lakes, rivers and the sea. People are rather good at taking care of their own trash. Not all, but most people do. So our rivers and lakes are rather clean. In other parts of the world, it's worse. It could look like this. Or this. And that is scary. The lake in my city, the Great Lake, isn't that great. It's the fifth biggest lake in Sweden. But Sweden have approximately 100,000 lakes, so fifth place isn't that bad. As you know, if you have followed this channel for a while, my work is about music. I'm a musician, entertainer, I conduct choirs and orchestras, I compose and arrange, and I have my studio where I record and mixing. But I also have some hobbies. One hobby is cooking. I like to learn and uh, experiment with cooking and that's sort of a creative hobby the same with photography some recreational hobbies one is that I like to read and learn about history and one is scuba diving every year if I can afford it and have the time I try to go somewhere to scuba dive I don't do it here in my area because I'm a cocktail diver and they tease me about it I don't like that dry suit and a lot of weights. I like to have it comfortable. So I go to places like Thailand, Malaysia, Egypt to scuba dive. And I also combine it with photography. I have a small kit that I can take on the water and take photos. I made a book with some of my pictures from scuba diving. And then I realized that we are destroying the sea and we are destroying the sea with garbage. And it annoys me that people can't take care of their own garbage, but that is the case. So Team Seas have joined with Ocean Conservancy and Ocean Cleanup. Both Ocean Conservancy and Ocean Cleanup are non-profit organizations that helps to take care of garbage from the sea and the beaches, and especially the rivers because rivers are important. 80% of the garbage that ends up in the sea comes from the rivers. And they do it with advanced technology, like this solar panel driven boat that takes garbage from the rivers up in containers of the boat. I like innovations like this. The goal is to raise $30 million in two months. And for $30 million, 30 million pounds of garbage will be cleaned up. That's 15 million kilos, approximately. And that's a lot. It's, it's not enough. It's, it's not, not enough at all, but it's a good start. For $1, half a kilo will be cleaned up. For $5, a whole bag like this will be cleaned up. 
from the rivers, seas, or beaches. The good thing is that if we can clean up the trash, especially plastic, the sea is excellent and at cleaning itself. But we need to help it. We need to get rid of those that garbage. Go to teamseas.org and see if you can contribute. Five dollars will help them a lot. Do you have any hobbies? Please tell me in the comments. Until next time, Roger that.